Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here and welcome to BMTV. As you can see, we have no tables, but we have a mass of balloons and the lovely ladies from Balloon Occasions. We've got Chantal. Hi, guys. We've got Lydia. Hi. Hello. How are you both? Good, very well. It's been a while yes. since we did the live. Thanks for coming back. <laughs> <laughs> so you started something off on the live, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yes. And now you're sort of going to go into a bit more detail. We're going to build on it. Yeah. yeah. Build, Literally. Yeah build on it. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do? Yes. Yeah. So we're going to create a garland on the wall using command hooks. Okay. And then we're also going to create a garland using the knot lamp and an aluminium rod. It's not the knot lamp, is it? It's the Arg... Targarp, I targarp. think. Targarp. I'm, targarp. I'm committed. Stand. Wait, we're committed the Ikea lamp stand. Targarp. <laughs> yeah. Targarp. So we're going to do both. I don't know what it is. Um, just to show you the differences that you can create the exact same thing, even if you're doing two different ways. Mm -hmm. So you do it on a wall. If you're allowed to do it on the wall, you would use the not target lamp. Mm -hmm. If there's venues that say no, yeah. don't touch the walls. Yeah. Absolutely. Also, if you're outdoors, it might be easier. Like if you want something a bit more. Yeah, free nothing standing. to attach to. Okay. Might blow mm -hmm. away though. Yeah. Oh, we can weights. talk about weights. Weights. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> All right. Well, over to you guys. I'll, cool. I'll just stand here and. Amazing. Do you want to start with the yeah. command hooks, everything like that, and then I'll give it some judge in a minute. Okay. So some these zhuzh. are mm. the command hooks that we use. These are the command hook light clips. This is what they look like. They come with a little foam pad that you stick onto the hook. Can I look at them? Yep. Which ones? Oh yeah, the, the clippy ones. Yep. I don't use these ones for my Christmas lights. No. Why not? I use the teeny tiny little oh, ones. Oh no, we don't want those. We want something a bit more robust. <laughs> Need to um, zoom in on this, Alex. <clears throat> so we want something a bit more robust. It's nice and sturdy. We trust these ones. These are the only ones that we recommend. Okay. I'm sure there are other brands that work just as well, but we haven't yet used them. Okay. If it isn't broke, don't fix it. So we're happy to stick with those. True that. Okay. okay. So what I'm going to do is take oh, the... I sounded so down with the kids. <laughs> and I just sounded down with the kids again. <laughs> oh man. So we're going to take the air out of the 260, knot yeah. it at the end, and I'm going to double knot it onto I the command hook. I apologise everybody. It's quite late in the afternoon. I'm quite tired. All right. Okay. So I'm now knotting that on. And then once that is double knotted on, which of course is happening now, I'm then going to stick this onto the wall. So if I was, you know, struggling to get this to stick to the wall, I'd give the wall a wipe down. Sometimes, yeah. you know, like they have chalky finishes. Yeah. Get rid of that chalk because that's going to stop the adhesive from working. So I'm just going to take off the side that says wall side. This one's going to be okay, do you think? Yeah. This one. And I'm going to put it roughly to the floor. Okay. Um, also at this point, if you were working maybe somewhere that it's got wallpaper, go for the skirting board yeah. or something else. But I'm just going to pop it onto the wall. I'm then going to put a little bit of pressure on it and I'm going to leave it and then, oh, it's going to ping you off. You pulled it off. You didn't leave it long enough, <laughs> did you? Yeah. So if it does ping off, you need to leave it longer. That's all that is. Yeah. So there you go. That'll be ready to use in a few minutes. Okay. Okay. So then to start off with, let's build them in. I'm going to start with my 12 inch balloons. So we build everything with 12 inches first. Okay. We then go through and add the 18s and then the 5s. So we're using three sizes today, which is the 5, 12 and 18s. Right. So we start off with the duplets, which we then twist into the quads like normal. And then we twist them together to create a cluster. All right. Okay. Simple. So you could just um, at this point, you can decide if you want to work in small clusters, which some people find easier because you've got more control of the shape. Mm -hmm. If not, you could always build one really long, what we call a spine, and then stick it on the wall. I'm going to move um, in little pieces okay. and then go into the longer bit. Um, also, it is really, really crucial that you underinflate your 12 inches. Yeah. So although this is a 12 inch balloon, this is not 12 inches in size. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, this makes them sit better together. This is easier to work with. It's also easier to build out than it is to have something way too big and then not get rid of it. So you've just done random sizes. Then. Yeah, random sizes, a mix of sizes. Okay. So let's hope this is stuck. Is it good? Do you think it'll be okay? Yes. Are you sure? I'm going to make it work. I'm, I'm not even going to, if it's popped, I'm just going to pretend it hasn't popped. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to take my cluster, I'm going to put it against the wall. I'm going to pull my 260 that's still on the wall. Still on the wall. It is. Confirm. Wrap it in. It is, everybody. It's still on the wall. <laughs> and always double knot to make sure it doesn't come off. Why are you, why are you, um... I'm, 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 I'm not hoping for it to fail, You but really are. I'm not. You're I'm a really cruel man, Greg. I'm not, I'm not. I just want to make sure. There you go. So there I am. solid. Okay, very good. Okay, so then. I made this joke on the live though. Croc solid. You're wearing your Crocs oh, again. Oh, Croc right? solid. What is with you two and your Crocs? You Croc my world, Greg. 
Oh, if you ain't crocking, dear. you ain't rocking. Oh dear, 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 <laughs> dear. So now I'm going to work with two clusters. I'm just twisting them together to create a longer garland. Yep. And then I'm going to twist them into one on base. It's not come off. It's not come off yet. Why are you tempting fate like I'm that? I'm not tempting fate. I'm just checking this all be okay. Be good. Don't be bad. Right, so then I'm going to get some more. I know this. Also, you can see we use random sizes of what of a colour. We don't have a particular ever with the colour order. I think that helps with the organic look. Okay. If you are to, um, you know. But if you wanted to, you could do it all the same colour, couldn't you? Yeah, we do a lot of that. Do you? Yeah. What's the most popular colour combination at the moment? Oh, God. Good question, isn't it? On your feet. I'd say people like to mix the pastels with the brights. So I say we use a lot of fuchsia with a lot of macaron pink. Okay. Maybe a lot of bright purple. What brand, what brand balloons have we got here? This is Sempertex and Calisan. Okay. So, again, I've put this on the wall. Should we leave it a minute? Yeah, I'm going to leave it for a few seconds. And then I'm going Stand to take here. another colour. Oh, oh. Just pull them down. It's all part of it. Yeah. I'm just leaning against the wall. <laughs> Twisting it in. See? I liked your thing you did with the frog tape on the live. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. That's a good tip. Like that is that. a good tip. So I'm now going to pull it. So don't be scared if it's like, oh my God, this is a really straight line because Chantal's going to come in and make the shape more organic in a few minutes. Oh. How is she going to do that? You just surprise? watch the magic happen, my okay, friend. I will. I will. I'll watch the magic happen. What are you doing with this one? Do you want this one? I can have that one in a minute. I've got to decide what sort of height I'm wanting this. Thank you. You can't go too tall, can you? I <clears throat> I've got my trusty uh, stool. I don't go anywhere that much. All right, stool. sorry, sorry. Make sure it's on a nice flat surface. I could not resist. And yep, use absolutely. two feet. Think health, think safety. Think health, think safety. Yeah. It's the thing we've said here for years. Oh, I like think it. Think health, think safety. Okay, cool. I like that. I said something made up that was, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to add another command hook here and I'm going to push it in with your dry walls. Yeah. So you can see some of the little command hooks that we've used here that Vicky must have used for some of the things she's done. They're the little ones I use for my Christmas lights. Oh, okay. But they did all right. Yeah, they look good. They look, look like they stick well. Once we've got stuck in our ways, you know what it's like. Yeah. So I'm going to add this in, wrap it round a few times and then double knot once again. Making it look easy. It is easy. So pastels and brights are very on vogue. We like that. Maybe I would say it's on trend for us. Gosh knows if we're on trend, to be okay, honest. I'm sure you are. <laughs> and I'm going to add probably one more for length. That's a bit lighter than that one. So we're using a mixture of double stuffed and non stuffed balloons here. All right. Do you know what colours they are? <laughs> yep. Sempertex okay. pastel yellow. Yep. Calisan fashion yellow, mm -hmm. more yellow. Then there is fashion yellow inside some text pastel so I had to give okay. like a mid-tone yeah so yeah so do you do that often do you mix your, your yeah brands for sure yeah for sure they all every balloon has a good you know has got its selling points so it's nice to be able to mix the brands that we really like together yeah to create the displays that we like cool the good thing about wrapping and not tying the neck see it's just quickly it's easy to take out say a cluster's too big I could just get rid of that and come back to it later so I'm gonna add one more to the end and then Chantal's gonna come in and one. adapt the shape I probably need one more command hook there. there. Thank you. Look at that. Yeah, for you. Think health, think safety. Think health, think safety. Yeah, I'll hold it for you. Thank you. Doesn't really need me. About there? Yeah. Push. Push. Push a button. So Might get you... copyrighted. How was your fifth birthday party? Was it all right? Oh, honestly, Greg, it was so good to see you. Okay. It was great to be there. Thanks it was so good me. to see you. Yeah. You know, dirty dancing, weren't you, Greg? Oh, God, you know the me. sequin wall. <laughs> there you go. There's going to be a sequin wall. Here is a disgusting U-shape arch. That's lovely. U-shape? L-shape. L-shape. I'm not very good with letters. All right. What now? Chantel. Chantel, I come in. welcome. This is where I come in. Okay. Okay, so... Lots of customers will ask you to do an L-shaped garland. They'll say, can I have it over these doors or can I have it over the cakes area? That sort of thing. So this is, if you were to get an Amazon garland, 
you know, they give you the tape and a lot of people create this sort of thing, but you want to make sure it comes out and make it more organic. So when you're adding the balloons, you will get to this stage first and then we're going to continue to build. So I'm going to get, say, a small cluster of balloons in, say, like a set of four or a set of three. Think of a zigzag. So currently you have a straight line here and a straight line here. But what you're going to want to do is build. Um, so we're going to get your balloon here and you're just going to wrap that in there. And you're going to start to build in the different angles to get rid of your straight line. What do you mean line. zigzag? So if you think of a, zig like a line, this is your straight line. Yeah. And if you were to draw a zigzag okay. over it, you're going to put balloons here. Then you're going to go to this side. Then you're going to go to this side. Okay. Like this All as you go around. up. Yeah. I'm going to work on the base also. So I'm going to come down here and attach to the base. What are you doing? Just making the base bigger or are you making doing the same thing? I'm going to make the, the big... I don't start the zigzag at the bottom. I start, have the base and then I'm more zigzaggy as we go. Okay. So, so that's a really... It's going to be a really big base. We'll, we'll, we'll see how many blues you've given us, Greg. Okay. So... You can have whatever you wanted. <laughs> there. And then just twist the balloons together. Now, if, say, for example, the balloons are slightly lifting off the floor, yeah. you can fill like an 18 inch balloon up with water, um, tie it to one of the balloons to weigh it down. Yep. You could put, a, if it's hard floor, put a command tuck on the floor and then pull it down that way okay. as well. Um, another option is to get, say, a balloon here, wrap it over and then have it down on the floor. So you're going to move it so it sits further down. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Looks all right. Looks all right. It's not bad at all. Thanks, Greg. Oh, some have escaped. What's going on? That's okay. Oh, oh. There. Yeah. So. So, how many arches do you think you've made in the last five years? Oh, good goodness me. That's a good question. I'm quite pleased with that question. <laughs> it's a great question. I don't know if I've got a great answer. Ballpark. Um. How many days are there? 365 days in a year. The first three years, I probably worked 350 of them. Um, <laughs> I don't know, three, four, five hundred. All right, okay. More, because I've done five years. So 100 a year. It's no one, more. One every three or four days. No more than that. Yeah, more than that. All right. Say so I do three a week. So that's What's 150 that? a year. Yeah. Five years, 500, 600, 750. Okay, I'm going to go with 500. All right. <laughs> okay. We'll never know. Okay. So here you can start to see how it's no longer straight because you've built on the bottom and then mm -hmm. you're going to go up. Just want to add some more at the back down here. Like that. And don't worry at the minute, you've just used 12 inch balloons. You are going to add fives and you are going to add 18ths to get in the texture, different depths to the garland. So do not fear. Okay, so here I'm going to go up to this top corner and add on another section. So do things ever go wrong when you go to jobs? Yeah, all the time. The command hook just pinged off. Okay, that, that's a little problem, isn't it? Have you <laughs> no. ever had any big problems where things have gone wrong? Um, I would say in, in the beginning, yeah. So I didn't know the other method that we're going to show in a minute. And you'd go there and you can't get the command hooks to stick on the wall. And yeah. then you're like, what, what do I do? So I was tying to people's curtains. I once got a needle and thread and went through a hotel curtain because I didn't. There you go. Because I didn't know, um, you know, what I could do with with that. So you've got the frog tape. I, think um, I didn't know what to do. Yeah. Yeah, many a times. Yeah. In the beginning, whereas now I feel like I've trialed, trialed and errored everything, and I've probably got an answer for most. Yeah. Yeah. Most things that could go wrong, for sure. So this situation is probably our wall yeah. because it is very it's dry and tape. powdery. Frog tapes for more delicate surfaces. I don't think. I think okay. use the command hook that's on there. Oh, this one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here we go. We're going to we're going to use one of yours, Greg. I hope it works. Well, it looks pretty solid up there, don't he? It's been on for a while. Yeah. Don't that's he? Problem. Don't he? You're <laughs> you giving he? him a gender. It's a command hook. Like Why is it him. a he? Well, he, he can be a girl in a minute. Okay. So basically, where your wall is quite chalky, when we're putting the command hooks on, because we're not leaving them long enough, they're not adhering to the yeah, wall. Yeah. Whereas these have been on for quite some time, so they're probably not going to come off as easy. Um, if you were in a venue with this situation, you'd even need to wait the time 
and then attach to it and say it actually says an hour on the packaging. Oh, does it? Yeah. So, you know, we're leaving it a few minutes. Um, or you would get the frog tape, put it on, stick the command hook to the frog tape because yeah. the frog tape is going to adhere to it better. So I'm just going to go okay. in. And when you're attaching it to here as well, don't do too much pressure on there. So you can literally just wrap it around and tie it on. Double knot. I'm just going to take that one out. So we're in. Okay, so we're going to continue. Oh, right. I want to get some colour up here. So go on the top, add some balloons, and then just continue to add in different angles. So where you'd normally have the zigzag, I'm going here, mm -hmm. then I'm going here, and go up. So you start to see that kind of... So when you go and decorate a venue, do you inflate all the balloons first or do you... Now we have a van, yeah, yeah. it's easier okay. to do that. When I had a car, we would drive to the venue, we'd inflate all the five inches um, prior. Yeah. Um, whatever we could fit in the car, really, okay. rather than... So you would have definitely needed an electric inflator to do all of that? Yes, absolutely. Um, if you're a balloon artist, you should have an electric inflator. Yeah. So yeah. All yeah. good. Um, I think if you are doing a lot of organic work, it would, or a lot of airfield, it would be a good thing to invest into a... Yeah, absolutely. Um, bigger I mean, we've got the but... cheaper ones and the more expensive ones, but the more expensive ones, you, you get what you pay for. Yeah, ultimately. for sure. So I'm just going to continue to add this to work on the shape. Obviously, when you have a customer, you're dictated to by their price and what they've bought. Mm. So they would say how many meters they want or, you know, they've got a style that they like. Is that how you price it? By meter? By meter, yeah. So we charge 45 to 55 pound a meter. Okay. Depending on whether it's double stuffed. Half of them might be double stuffed, half of them might not. Yeah. Um, but how do you define a meter if you're going thicker on some and... So the, what lid made at the beginning, we'd be like, right, that's that many meters. Okay. And then I would be make, blowing up chunks of meters and then I'd be able to work out how many meters I'm adding on. Oh, I see. With the so thickness. you've got the, the normal initial yeah. number of meters and then everything else you add is more meters. Yeah. So on our online training page, we have got calculators for how you work out how many meters you need, um, how much it costs, how much it will cost you, how many balloons you need. Um, as a little calculator on there, which is really helpful yeah, cool. on that. So, good. yeah, so we know roughly what we need, what we want, like that. So you've added the five inch there. Um, what next? We need to add some 18s. Okay. So we're gonna go for 18s and we've got a few more fives to add in. So with the 18s, we've attached them to a 12 inch and I'm just gonna go in and this is gonna change the like depth and thickness yeah. of the garland. So I've got 18 inches in every color. I wanna go through and find little homes for them. Just twist them in. So there's no set place to put them? You no, are just... I'm happy not to have a set place. Um, I like to just have them randomly. And then if you don't like them, so I'd stand back, yeah. look at it. And if I don't like them, I'll go back in and then take them out. Okay. We always do and try them, have them facing forward though. So we're not looking at the side of them. Okay. Yeah, That's so just personal preference. We wouldn't put it at the top so it's pointing out or have, this one's not too big, but have a large one just pointed mm -hmm. at the bottom. We have it within okay. the garland as it goes. And what about the little five inch ones? Where do you put those? So the five inches we make into really mini garlands like this. Stand over here. <clears throat> But like this, exactly the same yep. as that we've done like the other garland build. We just wrap the quads together and then going to take the end, wrap it in, wrap it in, like so. You can obviously use a 260 if you want. We just prefer this because it makes far more sense with the way that we do it all yeah. for it all to match. But just like that. And then you just tweak it. Yep. A huge thing, Very I good. think, with the balloons is 
there is nothing there's no right or wrong way yeah yeah so it's all about style it's your perception of what you like so when we say you know we don't have them at the top if that's your thing and that's what your customers like yeah, it's yeah. totally different our customers want what we've shown on our instagram but if we're showing something else and they're booking you then carry on doing yeah, what they're yeah. they're happy with yeah. Um, so once we've got to say like this stage, we would then come back and we'd look for if any necks are on show or there's any little gaps that we need to like move around. Mm -hmm. A good thing that we always do is stand back with a camera. So we're looking for it through yeah, the camera's yeah. eye rather than our own. And you tend to see like little bits that you might want to change. Um, with this, we have got some flowers that we'll add in just because okay. it's quite springy. Indeed. So I will grab them. I did rummage the warehouse. <laughs> so, a lot of people do that when they come on BMTV, yeah. Yeah, well, your flower range has increased incredibly, it so has, yeah. I've got a lot. All right. Here you go. Thanks. Um, when it comes to the flowers, you can make flower pieces. We do lots of classes on um, how to create like big pieces. Mm -hmm. Also, if you're just using stems and stuff, this is quite a cute display just to have them like popping through. Okay. Um, Colour coordination flowers, if say, I won't say to a customer, I'm going to have hydrangeas for you. If they want a pink display, they could get any pink flower that I can okay. think of. I don't yeah. know half the names of yeah. flowers. Yeah. Um, so it's just creating a hole in the garland and making sure that you don't pop a balloon. You may hear a few pops. Sorry, guys. So are you do. just keeping these stems long because they're ours? Or would you normally snip them? You what can you do. do. So we, we would sometimes leave them long. Sometimes it's easier then for them to poke out from a display. Sometimes when you chop them too short, they get lost, they sink in. Yeah. So you could definitely chop these down a bit because these are really long. Yeah. Um, you could stuff them inside a balloon. Sometimes we wrap them in masking tape, anything like that just to protect them a little bit. But actually sometimes having them longer, you can actually then pull them out to be different lengths. Oh, yeah, okay. So like give That's them a idea. bit more texture rather than all just sat flat. Yeah, yeah. Which quite often they can fall when you chop That's them nice. too much. So I might pull them out a little bit beforehand. So I've got my And in some heights. of our big displays, if we're using like foam bricks and things like that, we will separate the flowers, chop them all down, have a creation to then, to then attach it. Yeah. <sighs> These are lovely sunflowers. They are, aren't they? Yeah, they're really nice. Like a bit dusky, like yeah. not too in your face. I'm a fake flower. So because they're quite heavy, if they weren't yours, I'd be chopping them. Yeah, yeah. Um, just so that they're not weighing down that balloons. Yeah. The balloons. Otherwise, because I'm going to see the stem, so I'm going to have to move them. That's good. What's good with the artificial flowers is that they often have the wired heads. Yeah. So when they're in position, you can then bend them to actually face the way you want them to face. So. Sorry, I had to take some of them out, Lid, because they're That's all right. And what do you do? You just keep doing it till you're happy with it? Yeah. We more... always we always like more is more with the flowers, to be honest. Sometimes if you've just got like the one random hydrangea and a rose in there, it can look a bit lost. Yeah, yeah. Let's go for a poppy field, not a bouquet. Yeah. So how many metres have you used here, would you say? So this is how I'd work it out. I'd be like, there's a metre. Then I'd be like, there's a metre. Mm -hmm. Another metre. Four. Mm -hmm. Five, six, seven. About eight. Yeah. But obviously we would have known because we would have inflated them. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And then we would have calculated how many blooms that we'd need. We always calculate in 12 inch and then we add about one 18 inch in every meter. So okay. how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's nine there. So around that, one 18 inch in every meter. Um, and then the five inches will obviously depend if you're using garlands or smaller quads as well and then you add that on as well yeah okay cool yeah so you work out the meterage based on 12 inch balloons only yeah and then you add the extras yeah and i guess you add the flowers and stuff like that as yes. well okay so what are we doing now i'm bringing this okay the lamp stand yes okay we're gonna do it the opposite way around just so that you can see in comparison yeah we're gonna create it's a little bit smaller but you're still gonna be able to create the same shape okay. if you did want it bigger then you could add another piece on here. You could also get a larger yes, but rod I'll piece. Have rod. Um, yes. Okay. Cool. cool. Lid can start the same way me, as before. Let me stand out of the way. And then go from there. Okay. So if you want, if this is feeling a bit loose, like this one's nice and tight in there, you mm -hmm. can definitely duct tape it. If you want a bit more security, anything like that. 
Um, also you can bend it, keep bending it into shape. So I'm taking a small cluster, you could do this in quads if that's easier, again you could do it in four lengths. I'm just going to take this onto the knot lamp and then going to wrap it. So you were mentioning about weights earlier, so this obviously is very lightweight. Mm -hmm. If you wanted this to be a bit heavier so it's a bit more secure, we there's loads of things you could do. So like uh, gym weights, you know, that you put on the end of a weight, you can yeah. use those as discs. You could also use little sandbags underneath because you can definitely hide it when you've built out like this. That could be easily um, hidden. Yeah. The other way I would say is water weights. So you'd fill like an 18 inch balloon with a few waters and then tuck them under. Yeah, okay. Anything like that. Or what we quite often do now for the back of our props is a nice tidy finish is to use the smallest size hat box because a lot of people tend to waste them because they don't know what to do with them. We fill them up with gravel, hot glue gun the lid on, stick a balloon occasion sticker on, and then it looks quite professional. Okay. We've got it on the back of a prop. Um, so a lot of the time those ones go to waste. Yeah. So I'm just taking my small clusters and I'm just wrapping them on to this. So I'm taking them out, on and around. You don't have to wrap every single balloon just to what looks and feels secure. This is why these are much smaller when they're easier to use. Okay. So I definitely find the bigger ones harder to use. So we always try and keep them underinflated. And when we are making those quads, we definitely try and pair the different sizes together. Yeah. So I'm just gonna continue to wrap this all the way. Okay. Up. Oh my goodness, be careful. Oh, I, I, yeah. oh, it's not a safe place to stand, is there? Think health, think safety. Think health, think safety, Lydia. Sorry, Greg, but could you pass me my little stool? Your little stool, because we are thinking health, thinking safety. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. Thanks very much. That's all right. I shouldn't need it, but you never know. I'm not feeling too tall today, I'm having a small day. Are you? How often do you have tall days? I'm waiting for mine to arrive. <laughs> <laughs> so if you find it a bit gappy as well, push them down the pole, yep. push them down. I just don't like it when they become too squishy. Sometimes it's easier to leave it a bit gappy and then we fill it in when we create that shape anyway. What did you say? Attach it to? So you can actually, yeah, attach it to the balloon before. Okay. If you're at the end of that, if you're yep. at the end of the pole, you can then attach it to the balloon before. I see. So okay. that it's like gripping onto the other part of the pole. Yeah. Again, you have that really horrible straight shape that we had originally. Very nice. It's not horrible. It's very nice. <laughs> so, then we need to make it organic. Yeah. So I can start at the base again um, by twisting them on. And we're going to do the same thing as we did before in terms of creating that more zigzag effect. Well, that is fantastic. I can't believe that is just off a, oh, nearly knocked it over, uh, a knot stand or whatever the new one, Taggart. What did we say? It was Taggart. That's, Taggart, that's, that's, yeah. That's, uh, Taggart. Something like that. Ta Taggart. Okay, whatever it is. Taggart. Taggart. Yeah, Taggart. Taggart is a, is a detective. So, um, yeah, it looks great. It looks fantastic. So, to wrap up, can you just talk us through bullet points, exactly what you've done and what people should remember? So for the first one, um, the command hooks, obviously if you, we did go through the little bit of chalky stage on the wall, um, there is ways of coming around that, just leaving it on for longer or mm -hmm. using some tape. For this one, you've got the lamp stand and an aluminium rod. Obviously we made it quite big because we want to picture the other one. So we would have been better for a little bit longer. Um, and I would say probably with the size that we had to cut off a little yeah. bit shorter, yeah. um, but you can get them longer. Um, so yeah, that's literally two pieces of equipment. You could leave it at the job. And then obviously we've got all the florals that we yeah. pinched. Fantastic. Right, as guests on BMTV, you get to ask the BMTV Nation the question of the week. 
What's the question of the week going to be? Okay, so we talk a lot about the stuff that we do behind the scenes on Bloons to Business. Mm -hmm. If we can put anything out there on our main Instagram, if you aren't on Bloons to Business, what would you like us to put out there? Okay, what would you like to see on Instagram from Chantelle and Lydia that you would you you don't necessarily want to go to Bloons yeah. to Business for? If, it's, if you're not at the right stage of joining, what can we do to help you? on okay. our main Instagram. Fantastic. Leave your comments down below on Facebook and on YouTube. Ladies, thank you so much for coming in. Thanks, it's been Greg. an absolute pleasure as always. And I love the McDonald's lunch. So thank you for, <laughs> yeah. for taking, forcing me to take you there. Yeah. Um, and thank you everybody for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon and you'll be notified every time we upload a new show. And check us out on Instagram. And whilst you're there, Check out these guys on Instagram as well. Stay happy, stay incredibly positive, and I look forward to seeing you all next week. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>